most depressing thing about getting old? <laughs> <laughs> Why me? <laughs> I think it's um, that you start to lose your memory and Alzheimer's. Have I told you this already? Didn't we ever <laughs> <laughs> 34% of Brits would prefer a trip to a car boot sale than a theme park. Do you think that's true or false? True. False. There we go. Let's crack on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the reason people like car boots is because they can haggle the price and stuff. You can't do that in a theme park. It's, it's five pounds to get on the ride. I'll give you three quid. All right, you're not allowed to use the belt. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I see a Ferris wheel, I do think the Millennium Wheel is clearly the best one. It's so slow, though. Well, if you scream louder, it goes faster. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not realise that was the system? No. Call them a pikey, they go mental with it. <laughs> Patricia, the wheel, it's supposed to be a delightful journey with a view across London. It's usually foggy or raining, so you can't see anything. Oh, no, go when it's sunny. <laughs> <laughs> Are you writing any of this down, Tricia? <laughs> Extraordinary. Okay, so Nancy, how do you relax of an evening after a hard day's work? Well, I will have a hot bath with um, a drink and then I have a very deep tissue massage. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I think I prefer yours. Well, definitely you prefer mine. Who's the, who's the masseuse? Who's... Well, I don't have to tell on TV, but uh, I have a few. <laughs> Oh, that kind of massage, I see. No. What sort of tissues do you use? Uh, deep tissues. <laughs> deep tissues. Deep tissues. Deep tissues. <laughs> Is your bath one of the ones that you get in the side and it fills up when you're in there? <laughs> 40 percent of couples in counselling say what is a problem? Viagra. Oh. 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 These old guys that take Viagra. Oh, and it's good for 36 hours. You know how many orgasms you have to fake? <laughs> I imagine there's a certain amount of chafing involved as well. Oh, chafing those poor old dry ladies, they'd set them on fire. <laughs> I <would> just... <laughs> <laughs> That's a painful image, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I imagine Sting would quite like it, though. He does 15 hours with his tantric sex. Is that what he says? Even a terrific swordsman after six hours swordsman you know, the... <laughs> where are you from the 17th I'm century <laughs> yes <laughs> <I'm> a... <laughs> i thought you were talking about me <laughs> one thing goes, i had sex with celebrities so... you have had sex with all of them <laughs> you've had sex with all of them yes oh several times you're next <laughs> Who, who have you had sex with? Okay, you haven't read my books? I've uh, read your books, Of course Dennis. not. Oh. Okay, name names. Liam Neeson. Yes. Sly Stallone. Yes. Um, they're the two biggies in the book. That, they weren't that biggie. <laughs> 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 I thought Liam was the biggie. Let's just forget the show. Let's just talk about this. <laughs> well, who, who else was on the list? Mick Jack Jagger? Jack Nicholson. But I dated these Jack men. Jack Nicholson? Yes. Well I done. Did. Have you really shagged Jack Nicholson? Yes. What was he wow. like? The Joker was wild. Nice. Was the Joker wow. was what? She's even got a line on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think people are more offended by swearing in the States? I think, uh, yes. Yes. Good, OK, I'll write that down. <laughs> <laughs> was it amazing being part of Super Saturday? Yes, it was, it was pretty special. It, I mean, it goes down as Mo, Jess and that random ginger guy who turned up as well on the day. <laughs> <laughs> but your life will be different after tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what Nancy's got planned for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the ginger kid's getting laid. <laughs> uh, we had a guy on our show who was, uh, I think they called him a chubby chaser. He liked really, really huge women. A chubby chaser? Yeah. I've always had issues with that. How much chasing is actually going on? Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much gotcha. <laughs> that there are a lot of overweight people who are that way because they have personal problems in their life. Oh, bollocks, stop eating, you fat bastards. <laughs> Every week, 4,000 Britons are hospitalised through DIY accidents. Is that true or false? I've never met anyone who's been involved in a DIY accident or even heard a story about someone who's been involved in a DIY accident. Yeah, but then you move in the right circles to hear the <laughs> DIY stories. <laughs> I've, I've built stuff. Yeah? What have you built? Nothing. <laughs> God, about the woman who marries you? Why? Because you don't... What do you do, then? I'm an what? attractive prospect, Tricia. <laughs> <laughs> Are 
Are you good for the house, Emma? No, my light bulb burns out. I sell the house and move. <laughs> I bet Dave does DIY. You look kind of a no, DIY. No, I don't, and I think oh. that's probably, you know, people do get hospitalised because we just sh men are generally shit at DIY. The ones who are good at DIY do it for a living, basically. <laughs> why are men on this planet? If you All cannot right, put Trisha, out the rubbish okay. into DIY, okay. why are you here? Bridges, roads, <laughs> hospitals, <laughs> everything you can think of that's <laughs> ever been invented. <laughs> Western civilization, in yes. short. But Sean, if we don't give you a little bit of how's your father, never mind about building. How's your father? <laughs> How is it way back there in the 50s? <laughs> I tried to be polite on the television. All right. Have you we... seen your show? <laughs> <laughs> never mind building civilizations. You can't last two days without a bit of sex. Listen, you shelf hooer. <laughs> You're putting out... Is your, is your house just covered in shelves? <laughs> <laughs> going, it's pretty, every time I put one out, no. she puts up. It's <laughs> People talking about fatties like this. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. belong to Overeaters Anonymous. Really? Yes, this is the truth. And it's a, it, it's very, a lot of you here are thin, so, <laughs> but it is very, very sad because we all sit there and the women cry. Cry and they go, no one loves me. And I always say, yes, yes, your butcher loves you. Your, your, your baker loves you. And one woman, I mean, last week, which, right before I came over here, she was saying things like, I went on an airplane and she was sobbing. And she said, and they made me buy two seats. And she just cried. And then I said, yes, but now you can have two meals. And she perked up. <laughs> If you want to be fat, God damn it, we can be fat. That's the way it goes. Kim, you're a proud American, right? Yes. Now, the moon mission, they're saying it didn't happen. It, it did happen, right? I would like to believe that it did. Hmm. Well, even that seems a bit non-committal, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Kimberly, you, you, you look as if you eat, you eat an awful lot of fast food, clearly. <laughs> no to fast food. No to fast food. No to fast food. What, what? Organic and natural is the way to go. Stay in the produce aisle. But surely all vegetables are organic. No, but they're not. You really do have to look for the label that says organic. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy. No, oh, it's true. I think all it means is organic, chemicals. but organic, technically, it means more expensive and muddy. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you ever... Got, I mean, because presumably with the dancing, you're, you become very fit and you become very flexible and stuff. Have you ever tried any martial arts? Have you ever... I've done you, kickboxing. You've done kickboxing? Mm -hmm. So you could beat someone up? Yes. Only if it's a box. <laughs> Joan, have you ever seen a cricket match? I hate sports. You hate sports? I go to tennis matches, I don't even turn my head, you know. The ball doesn't come back, that idiot missed it. I mean, it, you know, it just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like sports. John Steen, what else has the nation loved over the last year of sport? I'm thinking football. The league, who won the way, Manchester City. The last day of the season. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. And the, way, the way they won, not only the last day, the last few, the last five minutes. So that was a Kisori victory. Do you like football, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're speed dating now. Um, <laughs> Joan, do you think we've got better manners than the Americans? Oh, I think so. Once in the last 21 years, a man opened a car door for me. Once. And we were on the motorway at the time. <laughs> 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 How with you, bitch? <laughs> Do you watch, do you watch tennis? Are you a fan of Andy Murray? Yes. No, I'm a fan of Roger Feather. I do like Andy Murray, but I... Um, I have a crush on Roger. You've got a crush on Roger Federer? Yes. Well, if you would like, you know, someone that looks a little bit like his special needs younger brother... <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, that's what I said. Look no further, my friend. You look like Federer if he, if he stood in front of that ball cannon. Just went... <laughs> 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 what are you saying? Puffed up. You puffed up. <laughs> Emma, you come second. Well... Uh, not you often, do. you do. <laughs> Have you met her? Yes, I have. I, I, I met Prince Charles once, he, and, and he asked me, what does one do? And I explained the show, and he said, what sort of people do you have on the show? And I would say, I said, oh, you know, the husband, the wife, and the mistress. <laughs> so I'm looking for the top word or phrase the public said when we said dance. Oh, it's pain, isn't it? <laughs> Unnecessary pain. Oh, Sean. Is... Are you a dad, Sean? Yes, I am, yeah. You don't sound very happy about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, um... Are you on the birth certificate? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know the people Trisha normally meets, don't you? <laughs> You've asked that question before, haven't you? Are you a dad, Alan? 
Uh, no, I'm gonna be, though. Just as soon as you meet the right woman. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call me Shaggy for nothing. <laughs> Baby number one. Yeah. You're going to get a better name than that, though, surely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm just thinking, cos from now on, it's no sex, no time together, no attention. Are you offering him a little bit on the side? From now on, you won't be getting any at home. <laughs> <laughs> she won't even know you're gone. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> it's a nice offer, but I think I'm out of your league. <laughs> Most annoying thing about going to the cinema? I, I personally happen to enjoy them, but I feel like a lot of people complain about the previews, you know? I get annoyed with I get the previews or trailers, as we call them, yeah, trailers, uh, because yeah. that's what they're called. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I get annoyed when there's a trailer for something that's better than the thing I've gone to see. So you sort of you're going, oh, why have I come and see this? That yeah. looks amazing. Yeah, usually it's because it hasn't opened yet, is why. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's a preview. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, yes. Now, Jerry, on your show, you give out plenty of advice. You're brilliant at it. Uh, so we asked our studio audience, are you good at giving advice? Yes or no? What do you think they said? I think everyone thinks they're good at giving advice, otherwise they wouldn't give it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't give good advice. I wouldn't listen to me. I do the final thought at the end of the show. That's my advice. But, first of all, I'm lying, because it's never my final thought. I'm always coming back the next day with another one. <laughs> well, one of these days... One... <laughs> Jerry, what's the most extreme show you made? Uh, the show I remember is the guy who married his horse. <laughs> but in my final thought, I came out against it. I want you What to... did you say? Nay means nay. <laughs> I need to apologize for the show. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I could just take a minute to apologize to the British people for yeah, my show. I didn't mean to do it. it, it <laughs> your show, there's nothing I've about ruined your the show. culture. I've destroyed the culture. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to hell. <laughs> and I just hope hell isn't that hot. I'm very light complected. <laughs> See, I recently got attuned in Reiki. Well, yeah. that's channeling. It's kind of like a healing energy that you, put, you are the channel for. And it's really weird because I think it really works. Sorry, do you want to buy some magic beans? <laughs> <laughs> you can do Reiki as well, can't you? I used to be a hippie. I've sort of... I've moved on. <laughs> What's that? What's that? But Jimmy does Reiki? Yeah. You make her. <laughs> Quite right. What did she look like that was doing the Reiki? What did she look like? Yeah, it was like this gorgeous girl doing <laughs> Reiki of you. Or was that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that makes a, it makes a, a big difference with a man. If we were both Reiki instructors, who would make you guys feel better? Come on, oh, shut no. your eyes. Come on, Holly. Shut your eyes so you won't know who does which first. <laughs> now, one of us is going on one side, one of us is going to get on the other side. Right, you're going to what? Heal me? <laughs> Which side felt better? I think the, the, the left hand side felt like it would be slightly more expensive. <laughs> and the right hand side felt like if you're on a budget in a hurry, why not? <laughs> which side was which? I was the budget in a hurry. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it had gone further, but you were probably thinking of the calories, weren't you? <laughs> Christian, when you were at school, were yes. you in The Name of the Rose and Prince of Thieves? How old were you when you were in those? Uh, 15, 16, yeah. So, presumably, you didn't have to do any... You went, oh, I'm going to the Oscars. I still had to do schoolwork. I mean, I still had to go, you know, go to school and do all that. I had a tutor. Lovely tutor. Lovely lady. She helped Did me out Did you sleep with your tutor? <laughs> <laughs> you, there was a little glint in your eye that suggests that your tutor was teaching you a lot of things. Thanks for picking that up. A lot of things you need to know. Thanks for picking that up. <laughs> she was lovely. Yes, and I learned a lot. On I'm a Celebrity, you claimed your maid's name was Vagina Kasiman. Is that true? Yes. Is she real? She's real. Are you sure she's I'm real? I'm positive she's as real as this set is real. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
Her mother, and this is the truth, her mother loved her body part so much, she said if she had a girl, she was gonna name it Vaginica. Then, no, this is true, not noble. Then she married a guy named Harry Seaman. Harry Seaman. And she became Vaginica Seaman. What's her middle name? I have no idea. She hasn't got a middle name. I suppose she doesn't need one, really. <laughs> Mostly when she tells, tells her name, she's probably just wiping the drink they've just spat in her face. <laughs> <laughs> John Seam, what else have uh, people been talking about this week? Uh, Lance Armstrong. Is that something that's, uh, I feel like that's been popular yeah. over here as well. It's we've been, been, we've been, been very... chatting about it a little bit. American sportsmen generally, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys get American things here? <laughs> Get too many. Treat. You can have that back. <laughs> uh, can I get a coffee? No, you can't get a coffee. You can have a coffee. You can only get a coffee if you bloody work there. <laughs> they get this. That's another American thing. The Easter Bunny. You just opened a can of worms yeah. with me, man. <laughs> Relax, I'll talk to Mr. America. Oh, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. I think it's Captain America. Yeah. Um, <laughs> give us the story, what happened with Lance Armstrong? There's a big report uh, just basically blaming him for not just being involved in doping, but sort of spearheading all the efforts for the entire uh, team. Yeah, he's ruined cheating for a lot of people. <laughs> it was something I almost admired sometimes, you know, someone's a bit of a cheat, you go, ah, it's quite clever to cheat, but he's just gone nuts. He cheated, well, I think, he I think just to, to win the Tour de France, Tour de France. Once. Yeah, but he cheated seven times. You'd think after you'd done it once, you'd go, phew, I got away with that. <laughs> Carried on. It's the sheer energy for the cheating. I don't know where he got that from. <laughs> it's not just the steroids he cheated with. He had a testicle removed, so he was lighter yeah. as well. <laughs> uh, a Brit just won the Tour de France for the first time, ever, mm. right? That was yeah. pretty exciting yeah. this past summer. Cavendish, right? Actually, no, English. No, it's Bradley Wiggins. No, it's not. What? I think Bradley Wiggins wins. That's what I said. What did I... What did you yeah. <laughs> Mark Cavendish. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the next round is called The Pole with a Hole. We've looked through hundreds of surveys from past and present from around the world and unearthed some fascinating facts. Unfortunately, each statistic is missing one salient piece of information. So it's up to our panellists to fill in the gaps. Here's your first one. Johnny. Oh, oh, sir. <laughs> is it, is it... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see a thing. He can't read. I don't care. I'm an actor. I can't read. I don't know what it said. OK. 76% of mechanics don't what? Is it, uh, don't agree with the consensus view that Ulysses is James Joyce's finest work because I actually quite prefer Finnegan's Wake? <laughs> Service cars properly. That is the correct answer. Where the hell did I get that? <laughs> I'm possessed. <laughs> oh, no. You're not having a point. Damn it. You are not having the points. I'm hurt. I've turned off the buzzer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Sean, what do you think the nation should be talking about this week? Well, there's the, uh, the, the Britain's Got Talent, which you used to do, didn't you? Did you, do yeah. it? you did it over here, didn't you? I did it over here. Britain's Got Talent's mainly made here, Sean. <laughs> What I meant, bloody Mr. Yeah. Logic. Yeah. What's the American one called? What's the American one called? Ah, uh, America's Got Talent. Yes. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. But well, you were great on the show. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I had a hard time understanding everyone, but I, uh, <laughs> I got to tour the country and. Uh, well, you, you, know. you and you, you ended up going out with a lovely Welsh girl as well, you? Yeah. Yeah. My girlfriend is from Glyneth, and the weather is uh, weather's tough over there. Uh, the weather's tough everywhere. You have two winters over here. I mean, I mean you have two summers. It's like you have winter and July. <laughs> it, yeah, that's why the buttons on our shirt go all the way up to the top. Yeah. <laughs> that's why it is. If they made Baywatch in Britain, you'd see a lot more nipples coming through those. <laughs> I did. I haven't watched Britain's Got Talent this year until last night. I realized that the show is exactly the same as it was last year. And they just go to, like, the hospital, and it's like one flew over the cuckoo's nest, and they give you the people medication, and they, they send them to Britain's mm. Got Talent. And that's how you got the job. <laughs> Last week, protesters gained access to Yanukovych's estate, which featured a replica galleon, a golf course, a boxing ring, and a private petting zoo. <laughs> They've got the shot of his galleon. That was in his back garden. 
I just think it's a bad idea for a leader of a country to to have that much, to like to live in a castle. I mean, who wants to live in a country where your leader lives in a castle and has all those riches? You. <laughs> You're a guest here, Jerry. <laughs> Christian, do you, do you think people should be allowed to tape phone calls? <clears throat> to tape phone calls? Yeah. Is that what you guys were talking about? Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it depends. I mean, there's certain conversations I wish I had taped in my life. Which I, conversations do you wish you taped? Well, they're, you know, little private, quiet conversations that I wish... Uh, they're, they're, they're distant memories now, and, and uh, I really enjoyed them when I was having them, so... Uh... Do you dance? No, I have a... I have a cousin. You have a cousin? Yeah. <laughs> I have a cousin. Good answer. I have yeah. a cousin, 279 pounds. 279 pounds? He started ballroom dancing, Fred Astaire, studio. Met right. this lovely woman, five months, lost 100 pounds, got syphilis, and died. <laughs> <laughs> if that's not being made into a musical, yeah. I... <laughs> Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr, and I'm touring America. Go to jimmycarr.com for details. I'm, uh, well, somewhere between Hugh Grant and Mr. Bean. So, you know, right in that sweet spot of very British, but quite edgy one-liners. You may be offended. Take a chance.